Hello everyone. Welcome once again to the third session of this belt drive. In this session, I am going to derive the length of the crosser belt drive, and also I will discuss about the velocity and tension ratios in the belt drives. First part I will take that is derivation for the length of the belt drive. In this one, for the crosser belt drive also, the length whatever we are going to use for the this belt drive that should be a proper length if it is a loose one then it may slip over the pulley surface then there may not be proper power transmission if it is a too tight then due to the more friction the belt may tear off and that may be damage and uh, cause difficulty for the power transmission here the length is given directly that is later we will discuss that is the derivation for that the velocity ratio is given like this and tension ratio and the sketch whatever we are going to take for the derivation of the length of belt drive ok here length of the cross belt drive for that we need to consider initially that is the driver pulley which is having the radius r1 the driven pulley which is having the radius r2 the distance between the centers of two pulleys is x by taking that one the length of belt drive we can write as l is equal to arc length of abc abc similar to that of the open belt drive and length of cd that we have taken length of cd here ok here you can see this one it is a crosser then arc length of def and length of FA and that will give the total length of the belt drive ok that is expressed here arc length of DF plus of length FA then this can be written as the twice the arc length of BC only because this AB equal to BC two times BC will become the total arc length of ABC then length of CD only we have to take because, because this CD length is equal to the length of EFA. Then arc length of DE only will take because EF is equal to DE. Twice the DE if you take the total arc length that will become say DEF. Then this continuation with this one will write in terms of the, the whatever the uh, angle incurred between this arc and multiplied by that radius will give the arc length. How that one? This we know that one. This is the arc length BC for that the 90 degree angle it is. That is the pi by 2. And this whatever the pi is there, this much angle additional is there to that 90 degree. Then this pi by 2 plus of pi multiplied with this radius R1 gives the arc length of BC. That is the pi by 2 plus pi into R1 plus of length cd will remain same plus second here the pi by 2 ok this will be the 90 degree and also here the pi angle it is more ok that is the arc of contact will be there for this cross belt drive ok that in comparison there arc of contact whatever is there it is some pi angle less in the open belt drive but here pi angle more is there because of the cross ok therefore this also becomes pi by 2 plus of pi into r2 that is pi by 2 plus pi to r2 that one that gives the arc length of tf this again continuation we can write here to the pi by 2 pi is there common from the first term and third term that will take in common pi by 2 plus pi r into r1 plus of r1 plus of r2 plus length cd now we can keep the first term as it is plus the second term we will take length cd is equal to length gc2 is written that means here to consider that one there is one parallel line is drawn to this cd length one parallel line that line is a gc2 which is having the same length of cd therefore cd is displaced with the this gc2 length ok that is the length gc2 we have taken then now the cd equal to gc2 is there then 
continuation with that one the pi by 2 plus pi r1 plus r2 the first term will remain same and length gc2 again by taking this gc1c2 triangle by considering the triangle gc1c2 okay then in this one this whatever the this is there the opposite to this angle and this is adjacent to the angle and this is a hypotenuse then here the cos angle we need to take then cos angle is equal to gc2 by this c1c2 and the c1c2 value whatever is there it is x and gc2 by c1c2 uh, x is equal to cos pi therefore then gc2 what we can write there is a x multiplied with a cos pi here we can see that one gc2 by x is equal to cos pi therefore gc2 is equal to x into cos pi that is substituted here then next step we will take this two inside that is in the first term it will become pi only and the second term 2 is multiplied with this pi angle and r1 plus r2 plus of 2x cos pi this is considered as a equation 1 already I told you that one okay, the length of the belt we have to express in terms of the radius of the driven pulley radius of the driving uh, driving pulley okay then the center distance between the two pulleys okay driven uh, driving pulley and driven pulley radiuses and the length whatever the distance is there between the two pulleys that we have to take for the expressing the length of the belt and here r1 r2 already is there pi we need to find out and cos pi this we have to take in terms of the radius and the center distances to take that one once again we will consider the triangle gc1c2 this one and for that now we will take the sign of this angle ok the sign angle what is there that we can give as the opposite by hypotenuse the opposite is gc1 and hypotenuse is the x again then sin pi is equal to this gc1 by x then gc1 is given as here cc1 is the r1 this radius and gc2 this is same as that of the r2 therefore r1 plus r2 by x this is given sin pi is equal to r1 plus r2 by x then pi can be written as sin inverse of r1 plus r2 by x and that is equal to we can write as the r1 plus r2 by x because pi is small if the angle is small then sin of that any term value will become say that value only then next for the cos pi the cos pi can be written as 1 minus sin square pi raised to half this can be written as 1 minus of half sin square pi by boolean uh, uh, binomial theorem by binomial theorem we can write this one ok then here the sin pi already value we are having then sin value of that one if you substitute 1 minus of half r1 plus r2 square by x this is equation 3 we can get and this cos pi and the pi values will substitute in this equation 1 therefore that we can write substituting 2 and 3 in equation 1 l equal to pi plus of ok pi plus of 2 into this pi r1 plus r2 by x multiplied by r1 plus r2 plus of 2x will be there cos pi is equal to we can write 1 minus of r1 plus r2 square by 2x square then uh, again we can simplify this one pi into r1 plus r2 this one this will multiply r1 plus r2 to the pi also plus of 2 r1 plus r2 square by x square ok this we can write this r1 plus r2 uh, by x only plus of 2x will take inside then r1 plus r2 square by x square r1 plus r2 square by x square it is then here 
the first term will be remain same pi r1 plus r2 then in this one 2 times the 2 r1 plus r2 square by x is there and here 1 times r1 plus r2 square by x will be there x square will be there because after taking this 2x inside you got this one the 1x one will be get cancelled then x will be remains therefore one term will be subtracted ok the two terms here the one term will be subtracted from it therefore we will have the r1 plus r2 square by x will be remains here this is we know the 2 r1 plus r2 square by x only and this is after taking the 2 x here the 2 2 get cancels in the denominator 1 x 1 x get cancelled therefore this is r1 plus r2 square by x only there and this term will be subtracted from that one that will have r1 plus r2 square by x plus of this 2x will be there. This is the length of the class black drive which is in terms of the radius of the driving pulley and the radius of driven pulley and the center distance between the two pulleys. In this way we can determine the length of it. Then next here velocity ratio will take. The velocity ratio of the belt drive is the ratio of velocity of the dri driving pulley n1 to the velocity of the driven pulley n2 and that can be given as velocity of the driving pulley to the velocity of the driven pulley that is equal to diameter of the driven pulley to the diameter of the driving pulley then velocity ratio we can write as the as the n1 by n2 is equal to d2 by the d1 as the velocity ratio this is the speed of the driving pulley and this is the speed of the driven pulley that ratio is the velocity ratio and that it depend on the diameters of the both the pulleys that ratio is the driven pulley diameter to the driving pulley diameter and this is uh, important to find the velocity or a diameter if you don't know that one then next one is the tension ratio as we know that one the there are two sides of the belt drives one is the tight side and the other one is the slack side the tight side whatever is there okay that is called as a tension on the tight side okay that is tensile uh, whatever the stress is there that will take the tension on the tight side and the another one tension on the slack side this ratio whatever is there the ratio of the tension on the tight side to the tension on the slack side is the tension ratio that is given by t1 by t2 that is equal to e raised to mu theta or we can write in terms of the log term as the log t1 by t2 is equal to 0.4343 to mu theta here t1 whatever is there it is a tension on tight side and t2 is a tension on slack side and mu is a friction coefficient as we know that one in the belt drive due to the friction only the power transmission is taking place the friction between the belt and the pulley that's why that friction coefficient plays important role here and theta is the angle of contact and radiation radians angle of contact means for which angle the belt comes contact with the surface of the pulley that angle of contact is there in terms of that we can express the tension ratio on the tight side and the slack side okay this tension ratio is also required sometimes to calculate the tension what is there okay that will be gives the power transmission value because here this the tensions will take for the determination of the power to be transmitted okay for that we need to find out this tension ratio or by using that we can find the tension in on each side of the belt okay thank you for watching subscribe my channel and uh, share and comment for this one and further i will continue the sum of the numericals on this uh, belt drives